My last novel is called Night Film. So much of the book was an investigation of why people love to be scared. And it's a psychological thriller about a washed up investigative journalist who's looking into a young woman's suicide. I, th I think we're done here. I really wanted the locations in New York City, those real life locations to sort of inform the mood and tone of the book. The reservoir is the first scene within the novel. This investigative journalist goes and runs in the middle of the night. What seems so beautiful and known during the day, if you come here at night, it's terrifying. Technology um, eradicates mystery. Some of the greatest classics of all time hinge on the fact that information is not immediately forthcoming. I mean, Scarlett O'Hara at the time didn't know where Sherman necessarily was, so um, there was always a sense of the world being very opaque. In this day and age, answers are immediately forthcoming. Um, you can't have those like it happened one night where no one knows that she's the daughter of this like famous industrialist because everyone would know exactly what she looked like. She'd be spotted immediately because someone would take her picture and put it on Twitter. So um, it's up to the novelist to be able to continue to find the mysteries that still exist. Is another place, um, the Waldorf Tower, is that um, the character come to find out what happened to this mysterious woman. So this is the private entrance that the main characters go to. Just because there's a lot of information doesn't mean it's necessarily right. A lot of times when my characters go to technology to find information, it doesn't really lead them to the right place. And this is a setting when the investigative journalist decides to team up with two young people in order to help solve um, the mystery as to what happened to this woman. So they meet really for the first time in the pom pom. Once the book was finalized, I thought it would be interesting to add another narrative layer to the internet so when people are Googling the book, they encounter not simply reviews or a link to buy the book on Amazon, but they encounter another layer of story. So I wrote five short films. One is a trailer, and all of them are adding new clues to the mystery. Walking down the dark corner, entering the dark room, I mean, that elicits a fear in all of us, and that's what it means to be human. Afterwards, when we realize that we haven't, <laughs> that everything is fine and we're still in our normal life, I think we feel this amazing rush and appreciation for you know, our normal life, which we often take for granted.